Hello, and welcome to FTC Recap. My name is Brooks, and I will be reviewing the previous two leaving to see have occurred in Russia. Russia is unique in that they are one of the few regions to be doing in-person events, which may give insight to how the game may be played worldwide and engage where some teams are at currently. Giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, welcome to the fun. Up to now, St. Petersburg League Meet 1 and St. Petersburg League Meet 2 have been completed, with League Meet 1 being on October 18th and League Meet 2 being on November 15th. League Meet 1 had many teams that still needed to dial in their robot designs. 11.044 PM030 White Knights had the best shooter at the event and regularly scored between 2 to 5 rings in the high goal. They used a design that would intake rings into a stack at the back and then rotate that into a linear shooter. Team 12529KTM had a nice looking all black robot that played it safe when they passed through conveyor design that scored into the bottom goal. The high score of League Meet 1 was 92, accomplished by 11044 PML30 White Knights and 9746 PML30 North Wind, with 11044 being ranked first at the end of the day. League Meet 2 had a lot more action as teams had time to refine down their robots. The high score leaped from 92 to 155. 12529KTM seems to have brought in a rebuilt robot with a familiar gluten free design, but kept the all black aesthetic that makes them stand out. They arguably took the spot for the best shooter at the event, with making the majority of their shots in the top goal with occasional misses. 14103 Sputnik SOS, Sound of Silence, had the second best shooter in my opinion, and was the first team to knock down all three power shots in endgame. Combined, 12529 and 14103 were able to get the aforementioned high score of 155 in the last match of the day. 11044's robot from League Meet 1 looked different, but their performance was nearly identical, which caused them to fall behind a little bit. The final rankings were 12529 in first, 11044 fell down a spot to second, and 12524 Spenic Original got ranked third with an okay power shot and a consistent wobble mechanism. Moreover, in match 6, 12524 showed off the strategy of taking the opposing alliance's wobble goal to the other end of the field, which was later ruled a valid strategy by the GDC. Autonomous at all of the events so far seemed to need more work by the teams, but many are close to getting consistent wobble goal autos. The construction of the robots used in Russia is quite interesting to me, as I see many teams using custom wooden panels and loss of Tetrix as well, but used effectively. Lots of other custom parts are clearly visible on many robots as well. Looking at individual mechanisms, there are some that were eye-catching such as 12524's Wobble Goal, which looked like sideways alligator jaws on linear slides spanning the whole back of the robot. 12529's Wobble Goal was notable as well, with going for a double claw design on an unpowered hinge that would hit a stop when raising to rotate the Wobble Goal upward, while still being able to bend to the orientation of the Wobble Goal when grabbing it on the ground. All robots and holonomic drivetrains, with the vast majority using the cannons. Defense did not dominate most matches, but notably in the final match, 12529 did have great inconvenience trying to get around 9746, who was shooting at their mid goal. The rings were also typically either at the back wall or hanging around at the front of the field, which could facilitate both same side and pass the robot designs. There are quite a few mechanical issues as well and many teams still need time to perfect the robot systems. Ring jamming happened a lot with many teams, and the vast majority of shooters just kept missing their shots if they shot at all. Overall though, Russia seems to be becoming a competitive region, and I'm personally excited to see what performance comes out of League Me 3 on December 13th. To make sure your region or team gets featured on FTC Recap, make sure your region uploads their scores to the Orange Alliance and has videos posted there as well. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.